today I just wanted to do a short video showing you the SimpliWorks joystick working with the iPad. So the first thing I need to do is turn the SimpliWorks interface on and then I need to go into my settings to Bluetooth and I need to pair them which I do simply by selecting it from the list of Bluetooth devices. The little wheels working away at the moment. You can see that and in a minute there we go it's connected. So now it's connected the next thing I need to do is I need to turn voiceover on and in my accessibility settings I have it set so that I just whoops need to triple click home and up comes a little um, menu of accessibility options I can turn on and one of those is voiceover. Voiceover on. Landscape. Home so, button to the left. Misc folder. Seven apps. Double tap to open. Okay, so I've turned voiceover on now and the SimpliWorks joystick should just work. So all I need to do is move the joystick control and the voiceover highlight moves between options on the home screen. When I turn voiceover on by default, the voice is actually on. I can press this button on the SimpliWorks for iPad and speech off turn the speech off. So now I have a visual cue only as to where the joystick is. So there's obviously the joystick knob, the control, and then there's three buttons. And the joystick actually does come with different options. There's a T-bar and quite a large ball that you can put on instead of this smaller knob. The three buttons, the first one, the red one, selects. So if I want to open the Photos app, I select that now and now once again I'm using joystick, um, the joystick to move the voiceover cursor around the screen. Now you may have noticed that I'm only moving the joystick from left to right. If I move it up and down, because I'm in this app, something happens. It scrolls between my photos. But if I leave this app, so I'm going to press the yellow button which is the same as pressing the home button up and down does nothing. That's the way that Apple has configured voiceover. So I can only on the home screen move from left to right. The applications of the up and down on the joystick are fairly limited and mostly limited to items on the system tray like we just saw with browsing through the photos. If I uh, go and launch another app, so I'll press the red button and I'm going to go to the notes app and now I need to again press to go between items to get into text editing and now I'm there I press select now I'm finding the keyboard sometimes pops up at this point and sometimes it doesn't there is a button on the simply works interface that gets the keyboard to pop up. Um, once I've pressed that button, I usually find for the next few times the keyboard pops up okay. Um, however, that is a time where someone might need to come in and, and facilitate the user's use of this to get the on-screen keyboard to appear. So now that I've selected the, got the on-screen keyboard up, I can, once again, control it. Now, I can just hold the key, the uh, knob all the way to the right and it will scan through the letters fairly fast and then I come off when I get to the one I want and I press the red button to select it. So, that's an overview of how the SimpliWorks joystick works with the iPad and I hope that's been helpful.